I'm meteorologist Nicholas Herboso. Thank you for checking out the forecast here with us on Fox 10 News. Record were broken today in Pensacola. Pensacola International Airport hit 100 degrees today. That broke the record from 1954 of 99 degrees as we head towards tonight. Temperatures will be still very, very steamy around 81 degrees by the time we get towards the pre dawn hours tomorrow morning. Something to look forward to a meteor shower. The Perseids meteor shower tonight. Here's a look at our nighttime future so we can see what we're expecting. Now we had some showers and thunderstorms over kind of the eastern half of our area. Some of the leftover clouds are still there by 10 p.m. As we work through the night, though, those clouds mostly fade. So the viewing conditions should be pretty good overnight tonight. As you can see around 2 a.m. when the meteor shower should be peaking, we should see mostly clear skies across the area. Maybe some few high thin clouds. Otherwise, you should be able to see a few meteors out there by 4 a.m. once the sun begins to come up, kind of where the peak of the uh, meteor shower actually is. We just have a few clouds around. So what to expect with the meteor shower tonight? Peak viewing very, very early in the morning, kind of pre dawn hours up to 90 to 100 meteors per hour. So it is a more active meteor shower. And then best thing to do, find the darkest area you can and look overhead before the pre dawn in the pre dawn hours. What about for tomorrow? Well, it's going to be another sizzling day for us. Very, very hot out there once again, and the chance of a few isolated thunderstorms, very similar to what we saw today on the forecast map, a chance for rain, of course, and then temperatures. Look at this 99 in Mobile, 99 Bay Manette, some people in the triple digits. Therefore, we have another excessive heat warning. Heat index values near 115. This is just going to be a complete repeat from yesterday, so very significant heat. Once again, make sure you are taking precautions and staying safe if you are out there. Here's a look at the forecast heat index across the area. 115, 115, 111, even at the beaches, 114 in Mobile. So a very, very hot one out there. Down at the beaches tomorrow, low risk for rip currents, but it's almost too hot to get down there at the beach with a 111 and heat index and future cast during the day. Well, it looks like we have some scattered afternoon showers and thunderstorms around 4 p.m. Those will last into the late afternoon, early evening hours, then begin to fade, and then they fade by the time we get towards 11 o'clock on your Sunday. So here's a look at the next seven days. 30% chance of rain for the next couple days. Those are the hottest days around 98. Tuesday, we actually have a few changes on the way. A frontal boundary gets towards us. 40% chance for rain. That drops to 20%, and also notice the temperature dropping a few degrees there. It's almost going to feel like fall at that point, 95 degrees compared to what we've been dealing with the past few days. Things climbing right back up to 96 and in the 10 day outlook. Yep, we climb back to around 97 by the time we get towards next weekend.